Hi everyone, welcome to Informatica support videos. I am Ravi Brother from Informatica support and in this presentation I will show how to create a custom entity with tables having constraints. By the end of this demo, we will get an idea on how to create a custom entity with tables having constraints in Enterprise Data Manager. We will quickly go through the steps which, which you need to follow in order to create a custom entity. The steps are launch the EDM, create new application version, import metadata from database, mine the source tables and build data entity, define parameters, business roles and indexes. So let's do the steps defined one by one. The first step is launch the EDM. EDM is a Java applet that is launched through the data archive user interface. First we need to launch the ILM web user interface in order to launch the EDM. So to do this, open the web browser. When you open the web browser, enter the host name and the port number and hit enter. When you do that, you will be asked to enter the username and password. So enter the username and password in order to log in. When you click login, you will be logged into the ILM Data Archive user interface. To create a custom entity, the user must have developer role. Otherwise, he would not be allowed to create or modify any entity. So, to launch the EDM, go to Accelerator menu and click on Enterprise Data Manager. That will launch you the Enterprise Data Manager. So, to launch the Enterprise Data Manager, you also have to have the uh, IL, uh, Java installed on your system. So this is the Enterprise Data Manager. EDM is a powerful developer tool that allows the for the certain for the creation of application accelerator or metadata. Accelerators contains all details behind what data needs to be archived, including tables to be archived, parameters used to filter, business rules to determine what data is eligible to be archived. So we'll move to the second step to create a new application version. You can create an entity in existing application version or you can create a new one also. It's best practice to create new application version if the database has different version of from the existing version in order to differentiate between two versions of the same database or from or different databases. To create a new version, right click on the custom apps only application and click new application version. Then you will be asked to enter the version name. So enter the version. And click finish. The new version will be created for you and save the work. So we'll move to the next step. The next step is to import metadata from database. This step will import metadata from source database to ILM repository. So to import metadata, select uh, application version and go to file menu and click import metadata from database. You will be prompted to enter the database details. So enter the database details. Once you are finished with entering all the details and then click OK. You will be prompted to enter the connection name. So enter the unique connection name. This is used to when, when, you, uh, when you search the connection then click OK. Then you will be prompted to uh, all the schemas that are present on in a particular database you have selected. So select a particular schema name from which you want to mine the tables. And click down arrow and click next. Then you will be prompted either you want to mine the tables through background job or through EDM. The background jobs are recommended when mining the large number of tables. So we don't have large number of tables so I will select through EDM. Then click next. Then you will be prompted all the tables that are present in a particular schema you have selected. So select the tables you want to mine and click down arrow and click finish. When you, do when you do that, it will be asked to m either you want to mine the cell tables also along with that. So click yes. You can see here I have just selected the employee table but it is mined dependent 
and also dependent details these are two tables dependent on the employee table so these are the child tables also man mind so click ok and close this window and save your work now we are done with mining the tables the next step is to build an entity to view the mine tables go to the view menu and click constraints and expand this application go to the particular version go to the this you can see all the mine tables we have selected employee and two child tables are uh, three tables are mined so now build and build now we will build an entity the entity contains information about what table should be archived and business rules to determine what rows should be archived so to create an entity right click on the uh, parent table and click new entity it will be asked click as a cross module and click next and select all the constraints all then click finish now the entity has been created so come to the data archives tab and see the entity has been created by the ADM this employee 001 is the new entity that has been created now expand this entity you can see one interim table and along with these tables the interim tables will contain all the table details along with the default insert and delete statements if you want to modify any insert and delete statements you can modify on clicking on that here you can modify now we can check all the tables and all the constraints that have been archived or not in this employee table there are three columns ID name and salary the constraint is the primary key on that ID the dependent table this table has two columns dependent ID and employee ID and this has two constraints one primary key and reference one referential constraint this dependent table has two columns dependent dependent ID and dependent name and this has a referential constraint and save your work it will be reflected in the database now we are done with building an entity the next step and the final step is to define parameters business rules and indexes parameters are used to filter the archive cycles during the runtime this allows the user to create flexible repeatable archive po policies that can be run on scheduled basis these are the column that will be used to define the archive rules which are typically date driven to create a parameter select an entity go to parameter step here you can add the parameters here you can see the green plus sign is to add a new parameter these the two blue arrow marks are to switch your the next uh, parameters and all this this red cross mark is to delete the parameters that has been created to create a new parameter click on this green sign and click the name column name the description the data type and whether it is required or not if it is required mark it as required I will show you one already created parameter delete this first parameter it will not allow ok come click on this entity and click on the parameter here we have defined one parameter called order ID and it is required this parameter ID will be asked when you are running the archive job the condition for this will define in the default columns here here is order ID is the default column it will be compared with the uh, uh, source database table column the constraint is here it is defined as a dot order num key is greater than order id whatever I order id you are you are entered at runtime greater than that order value will be archived
if you define any parameters and if if you made data as required you need to uh, enter the condition in the default columns by default it is 1 equal to 1 means it will archive all the rows when you click this where clause it will prompt you to modify this when you define the parameters you can define the condition here as i shown in the previous as i don't have any parameter so i have given it as 1 equal to 1 so it will archive all the rows so the next step is to create business roles to create business roles you need to switch to the business role tab here here again you can add the business role using this plus sign click on the plus sign and click and give the business role name and give the description whatever it describes the business role and give the business role order and the type of the business role what uh, what type of business role you want i will take it as a where there are many business role types are available full inline loop set where the purpose of all these business role types are defined in the edm guide you can refer in the customer support portal and if you check this as uh, exclude from evaluation and it will ev evaluate the uh, business role and it will not uh, consider this business role while selecting the purgeable flag when you create a business role you can put the condition for the business role in the condition tab i'll put a condition as a dot id in the id is in in the source table and also in the in the ta interim table and if the id is great less than 3 you should not be archived click okay my business role will apply if the id is 3 or less than 3 it it will not be archived when you create a business role and come to the default columns here the purgeable flag will be default set it as y so remove this otherwise your business role will not be considered it will be ignored so now we have created the business role then save the work you can create the business role as many you want based on your requirement the next step is to create indexes go to the index tab and It here is a uh, button called insert default index you can if you click this insert default index it will create the automatic uh, uh, index based on the primary key that is unique index as of now i am creating only single index that is based on the primary key then save the work when you have the business role you need to add the steps also in the steps go to the entity and steps here you can see all the steps that are that have been followed when the job is run so here you need to insert the default step this will insert the that business role update interim table based on the business roles we have defined then only the interim table will be updated and business roles will be affected otherwise the business role will be business role will be of no use then click save now we have created successfully the entity business roles parameters and indexes If you have any queries we would love to hear the feedback from you you can give the feedback in the fo following URLs thank you